Hey guys, welcome back to the walkthrough of Conker's Bad Fur Day for the N64. This is being played on the Project 64 emulator for the PC. But uh, this is part two, and when we last left off, we left off to around here where it says nice and nasty. And now we're gonna go over here and help this bee, giant bee. Yeah, queen bee. Nasty, nasty wasps. Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. <laughs> Hope she's rich because she ain't cute. Please get it back for us. Otherwise, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. I'll go and get it for you. Now, where is it? Oh, just follow the sign. <laughs> oh, what are those? Remember when I said nice and nasty? Well, what do you think wasp are? Are they nice or are they nasty? Well, I don't know about you, but they're. I don't, they're just nasty, yeah. <laughs> I have no words for them, they're just bad, and I've had a really bad experiences with them, so yeah. So now we get to venture all the way up here. And you see that little beehive right there? That's what we gotta get right there. As soon as we get it, however... Hey, some wise guys trying to steal our nice new hive! Come on, boss. Come on, boss. Let's get him. And pretty much at this section, you just have to keep running. It's pretty straightforward, as long as you don't get stung in the ass, or in this case, on Conker's tail. And don't run onto that little flowery field right there, it'll slow you down. Just follow the path. The stone, I guess it's like a stone path, I guess. And then... believe that right there the beehive turns into some little mobile gun platform now it's time to kick these wasp ass well uh, it's hard to say wasp ass these wasp ass eat lead mother buzzer <laughs> eat lead mother buzzer and then one bullet Oh. oh! Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. And none of this would have happened if it weren't for that no good husband of mine. He's gone off, you know, with another woman. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Nothing. That doesn't anyway, surprise me. As a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Hey, did somebody call from me? The famous money sign, or money face, I guess you could say, from Conquer. And he'll say something usually when you get money. And that's the mainstay of this game, too, is to find cash. Because the more cash you have, the better chance you'll be able to venture onto other areas of the game. <laughs> and again, here's another context sensitive B section right here. It's me again, Mr. Scarecrow Birdie. Right, the Birdie. To be the problem. Oh, yeah. Probably you. You need manual. Otherwise, no. Nah. That doesn't work. Manual. Hey, Kostya. Oh, how much? Again, uh, you'll need cash. What? Don't matter. Not Mexi Pots. Yeah, I think, uh, well, uh, uh, a ten dollar. Long time. You got manual, long time. There you go. <laughs> By the way, that's not ten dollars. Just press B. <laughs> Don't, don't you wish money would do that for you? Okay. Help me. Cash. Cash. And each time you get one of those little money guys, they're each worth a hundred dollars. You press start. There's a hundred dollars right there, and then there are a life bar in the top left-hand corner. 
now we have to use the manual. It needs to be an instruction book. Or instruction book, as Conker says. Oh, I see. It's for the more complex stuff. No, yeah, not really, but... It'll appear the first time <laughs> you use the more complex stuff. And if you need it again, then press L and B at the same time. To skip it, just press B. More like a slingshot, actually. Use control stick to aim. And Z button to fire. That seems simple enough. Okay. And now we have to use the catapult slash slingshot against these guys right here. We gotta hit them once and then hit them another time and they blow into a million pieces. And you just keep doing that to the other three guys. And you kind of have to guess on your aiming. There's no aim cursor, reticule, or anything. See, I didn't even hit him, but it counted as one, which is weird. But yeah, you just keep doing that. Hit the last guy. Hit this last guy. Come on. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, we barely got him. And then that door opens to the Barn Boys chapter. We don't have to worry about that little B section anymore. We just got the venture on up here. Hmm, let's see. That way, or that way. Hmm, that way smells a bit pooey. Hmm, let me see. Hmm. Now we can go into here, too, if you want. But then, this will happen. Oh, cack. And it says, closed at ten. And we will have to go back to this place later. Hmm. Ten o'clock. Damn it, it now. No. Well, I suppose I'll come back later, man. And technically, this will keep. Uh, I can't talk right now. This will keep staying closed until we do the barn boy section, or just another section in general, really. But. Usually this is the way I do it. I just like to do this place first. And now here's the next cutscene. So, what is the key element in this experimentation? We have the pebble, huh? The milk in the glass broken. Ah, I so that. complex. Oh, and the scissor. Hmm. Seems to be a and this is where Conquer fits into the story. Experiments. Yeah. Yeah. And they will he won't say it yet, but and eventually you'll like figure them. it out and you'll be shown to you. Then, my love, they will see who uses the doctor. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about the teddies because they are kind of a part of this story for this game, too, but we'll just worry. They're more. They're part of the later part of the story. Now all we have to do now that we're in the Barn Boys section, if you notice by the music, we gotta go up here and meet this mouse. And these two large crates, I guess, or metal. I don't even know what the hell they are. <laughs> Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you gonna do for me then? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I say I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You get rid of that freaking mouse critter, uh, and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing to say. Just one more thing. You make one into my friend, Bert. Just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just dandy. So now, we have to go get those pieces of cheese. We gotta watch out for these guys, because they will hurt you. Come on. And there's Bert right over there. We just gotta go over here and talk to him. You must be Bert. I'm Bert. I'm Bert. I'm opening it for you here. And you can get on what is ever that you're trying to do. Well, that's all there is to do right there is get those pieces of cheese. That's all you do? Great. <laughs> now. Just like what we did with the key, we have to use our frying pan. Oh, what the hell? 
Oh. Okay, we'll try to use it. Okay, we'll tr literally just try to use it. Oh, I got two of them. Okay. And then we gotta bring it to that mouse. And we have to do this maybe about three times. Or a little, maybe four. I don't remember. I'm assuming it's that much. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Fuck. Alright. As you can see, when you get squashed, you lose a piece of that chocolate. Which is your health. And I keep falling off this little thing. Well, I barely even made it. Come on. Alright, now we're back over here. And don't worry about losing lots of pieces of cheese when you screw up. Because it'll keep re regenerating all of them. You pretty much just have to wait in this section right here. Usually I used to be able to do this fairly quickly, but I'm not as skilled as I used to be. Come on. And this will ha happen a lot when you play this game. You'll be doing a lot of these little, I guess you can call them mini-games, where you have to do this to do that, so you can move on later into the story. And there's one. That was nice! Oh, ooh, I'd like another though, if that's okay. And eventually you just do it another couple more times or so, and then, well, I won't spoil it for you, but this is a walkthrough. So let's just say it'll get what we want. Okay? Okay. Oh, what the fuck. Come on. Oh, that was clearly a hit. There we go. Bing! I can't imagine getting hit by a frying pan in the face. That would hurt like hell. Hey, hold still. You can just go that little crevice right there. Come on, come on. There we go. And I think after this one, we have to give him one more, or maybe just two more. I don't remember. Oh. Marvelous. One more should just about do it. Seems the number three runs pretty well in this game, as well as in Mario. How peculiar. If you guys don't get what I mean, if you ever play, if you ever played or watched me play the Super Mario World hack playthroughs and whatnot, I would, uh, you know, fight against a boss, and usually they only take three hits. And of course, if you played, you know, the, the, the vanilla Super Mario World game, oh shit, fuck, then, yeah, they would just die in three hits. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of, uh. Oh yeah, there's actually a secret over here I want to show you guys. If you go over here, and I think it's, let's see, I think it's over here, you crouch jump like this, and you press B, then... You can actually get extra life over here. Or maybe it was... Yeah, it's somewhere around there, but we can't do anything about that until we die. And I'll show you the cutscene for that, too. Come on. You gotta stop messing around. You gotta kick it into high gear. Holy shit, that guy moved fast. Come on. Alright, this is the last one. So now, finally... Oh, shut up, piece of cheese. Now we get to see what happens. Yeah. I guess all that cheese made him super constipated. And it's all backed up. That's pretty grotesque. Did I mention this game is rated M? <laughs> and even though he's dead, his bone or his skeleton farts. Oh, I couldn't have lasted a moment longer there. Thank you very much, Mr. Squirrel. Now, there's something real neat inside that barn. You just gotta get in there, Sonny. Sure thing, bud. Before we do that, though, we gotta go up here to actually get into the bar. Or the barn, not the bar. <laughs> Man, they sound so similar. You see this little switch right here? Oh, there's money. We gotta get money. 
Remember to always look for money as you're moving along in your story or playthrough or whatever the hell you're doing. Because, like I said, it'll help you venture yeah. later on to the other I sections. I'm gonna get tanked tonight. <laughs> cool. This day ain't turning out quite so bad after all. Huh. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Big hand is. Yeah. Hey, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah. I remember. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I thought it was supposed to. Remember when I said the whole 10 o'clock thing, how we have to wait until we do a certain section? Well, I, well, I guess I was kinda right, but... Anyways... Oh, he's, I think he's looking at porn. What the hell? <laughs> okay, this is the end of part two, you guys. When we come back next time, we're gonna go inside the barn. Alright, so I'll catch you guys later.